right. Just put me a little bit, a little bit. I'm just putting me primer on because we're doing a makeup look on this one, as promised last time, but we never got around to it. So I'm just putting some primer on. We're going to play with the Tatty palette. I hope you all keep it well. How are you doing, Lil? Hello, Janet. Hiya, Central Coast Girl. Hello, Mia. Me and Mojo. How are you doing? There we go. I've got primer on. I hope you've got your makeup ready. Someone said there's a thing you can do on Instagram where you can actually have a few people in the room. But I'm thinking, would you like a Google Hangout so we can all see each other and do makeup along with each other? Now, that would be fun, wouldn't it? Ah, there we go. Hello, everyone. Donna Lejeuris. Oh, I remember you off years ago. How are you keeping? There's so many of you now. I can't keep up now. I hope you're keeping well. We're going to be playing with the Tatty palette tonight. Can you hear what I'm saying as well? Because I don't have a microphone, so it's just a laptop. Did you like Clara? She was really, really good. It was really enjoyable. Hmm. I'm just baking at the moment. What are you baking, Lauren? Um, hi, I check it's M from Messenger. M. Ah, oh, crooks. Hi, are you all right? Nana Muffin Lady. That would be lovely. Hi, hi, oh, hi, Clara. Are you all right? Are you home safe? <laughs> Hope it didn't feed you too much. Did you like your dinner? <laughs> oh, good. The volume's good. Brilliant. I'm glad you can hear us. Curious about the palette. The palette is lush. Ashley, I don't know if you're in the room. Sand dancer, she's called. She is the one that gave us it to play with. So if you if you can see her, say thank you to her that we're going to get to play with the tatty palette because I've never had a tatty palette before. I'm just popping me foundation on. I'm using Milani. I love this stuff. It's really, really gorgeous. You like your dinner? Get in. And there's Jenny. Hello. You all right? No, you haven't missed anything. We've just started. We'll probably end up being here on here for um, probably, I don't know, an hour maybe. Martin's making bolognese. Eat, I tell you what, I'm so chuffed with myself. Since last week, I've lost five pound because I've been walking. I've been eating low carb. I've cut all the crap out and I feel absolutely fantastic. So I'm really, really chuffed. Hey everyone, I, I, I kind of keep up with you tonight. I hope you're all right. Have you gotten a chance to get the Lady Gaga liquid liner yet? No, I have. It's a, it's a house, isn't it? Lady Gaga, H-A-U-S. I haven't, but I will. Yes, five pounds in one week. It's brilliant. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm just off walking. I've been walking into work. It takes about 35 minutes if I do it really, really fast. But the problem is, I've got to take a T-shirt. I've got to wear a T-shirt in. I can't wear my uniform. Otherwise, I'll end up sweating in it because I do walk so fast. Um, but the other day, I was in so much pain. I mean, muscles aren't used to it because I haven't walked for ages. So I was in agony. I got halfway there and I just felt like I needed crutches. It was, well, it was, it was horrible. I was in so much pain. But it's kind of subsided now. I think my legs are used to it. And then, do you still live in Shields? Yes, I do. I live at the Nook. I love it here. It's my favourite place. It's so well connected and it's right near the beach. And me and Martin walked all the way from our house to the beach, along the coast today, and then up into the marine park, past the fair. It was really busy down there. We saw loads of dogs. It was lovely. And then we walked up into town. We had a coffee at Nero's and then walked back home. So we've done about seven miles a day and we are knackered. And I feel like I deserve this. And I haven't given this up, by the way. I've still had a drink of alcohol and I've lost five pounds. So I feel really chuffed. Like, it's really good. Oh. What has been the best thing about getting back into the YouTube world? Being here with you guys, like seriously. I met Clara yesterday. She came all the way from Germany. I've met Lil, Ashley. Um, there's Erin. There's... 
Lena on Instagram. There's just so many. And I have, if I haven't me mentioned Will as well in Idaho, I think it was Idaho. There's just so many of you that I I'm meeting because of coming back on here. And I just absolutely love it. Really, really love it. I feel like it's we're part of a community. I wish there was more way it could be a bit more interactive for you. Right. Anyway, I've got my foundation on. Ready? I'm going to do some palette now. Wine is good. It's very, very good, isn't it? Yes. But it's meant to be good for you. That's why I keep telling myself anyway. My blood pressure is good. My blood sugars are good. And we'll leave it there. <laughs> right. Okay. Enjoy the wine. Yes, I'm going to. Thank you, Denise. I will enjoy the wine. Hudson Gray, loving you all the best. Watch you from the start, from when you were on the BBC documentary. Look, that is of years ago. God, thanks for staying all this time. That is really lovely. We love that you're back. Oh, thank you. Well, I, th I can't thank you enough for having us back because it's like when I came back on, there's been so many people that were like waiting for us. And that's huge that, you know, like I kind of thank you enough for that. I didn't know what would be there when I came back on. I'm just finding some brushes. I'm going to show you what I'm doing. I've got bits and bobs here. I don't know which part. I'm going to go in, by the way. This is the look we're doing. We're going to go in with, we're having this on the eyelid, that on the crease. Um, and I might do a bit of sparkle for you. I've been dying to play with this. Thank you, Ashley. I hope you're in here tonight. I don't know if she's had a chance, though. I'm from Swansea, so I live near the sea. And my missus is from Durham. And... And we want to move up, but I want to be near the sea. Well, this is perfect near the sea. You can't, you can't even go wrong. It's right on the beach. And then, like, for instance, yesterday, what a mess on trying to get to Newcastle. The um, the tracks were getting fixed. So Martin dropped us off at Tyne Dock. And I says, I want to go to Tyne Dock because it's a bit closer to Newcastle. And and since I haven't had me on a metro on my own because I have a panic attack, I've been scared to go on it. I thought, right, I'm going to face my demons. I don't care what happens, I'm doing it. I'm not letting this get in the way. So I thought, right, drop us off at Tyne Dock and I'm going to go to Newcastle and meet Clara. I was supposed to meet her for half past 12. So she's at Eldon Square waiting for us, bless her. And then I found out that there's no there's no, there's no, no train on to Newcastle because it just stops at Jarrow. And then you've got to get a bus, get back on it, get past Hewitt. And then oh, I thought, oh, no, no, this is a nightmare. So I rang Martin back up, bless him. He come all about the time dot, grabbed us, went all the way to Whitley Bay. I don't know why, why we chose there, but went to Whitley Bay, got on the metro. Then he went, right, is there a metro in Newcastle? I was like, yes, there is. So off he went, and I'm standing there thinking, geez, I'm all alone in Whitley Bay. I'm feeling a bit nervous. And, I, and then I worked out that there was 11 stops I had to do to get to Newcastle, where I needed to be in the first place. I was practically close to where I had been. What a mess on of a day. It was just a nightmare. And I thought, a baptism of fire, if this was the day that you were going to face your fears, it was going to be that. So I was really, really proud of myself. I did it, but I didn't get to say it like, what did I do? <laughs> I was just travelling and travelling backwards and forwards. So it was awful. But I did it in the end, and so I'm really proud of myself that I did it. The palette is lovely. It is, isn't it? Look at the glitters in there. Isn't it gorgeous? Thank you for inspiring me it's when I was 15 or so. Well, 15 years ago, a while ago, you're the best and the breath of fun in the crazy YouTube world. It is, oh, it is crazy on here, isn't it? Everything's just so moved on. I don't even know. I love the little world here, though, and I'm, I, hope, I hope that you do as well. Like this to me is just perfect. Lauren, do you have any sleek makeup? Yes, I do, and I love it. I've got a couple of palettes. Um, I think I have somewhere. I think I've got a couple of palettes. Um, I've I do have it. I just, I'd have to have more time to look for them. They're in there somewhere. I'm sitting on the cushion and it's keep moving. Wore the glitter yesterday, got so many compliments. All oh, out the palette. It's lush, isn't it? I love this palette. It's so good. How's Jordan Lauren? He should do his own YouTube. He should, shouldn't he? He should absolutely do his own YouTube. I'm going to put a base on. Shall I tell you what the base is? It's not what you think. I was going to use this here. Uh, uh, this is my favourite product ever. I'm in love with it. And I've, I've just gone and bought the beige one and the ivory one from Kiko. 6 99 come on, you can't go wrong. 
I just really, 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 really can't wait to get that. I'm going to get a base. Right, okay, we're using a base. This is like, if you see it, it's got a bit of a shimmer to it. So we'll get that on my eyelid. Hope I can see in this mirror at the night. So Martin's making bolognese downstairs. And obviously what goes what goes well with bolognese. Oh, we went for our lunch today with Martin's parents because his parents are up in the northeast. So we met up in the trek with a lunch. And I'm so proud of myself because every time I go out, I eat chips. I love chips. Like home cooked chips or like fries or whatever. I didn't have any. I had a mega, mega salad with me New York chicken New Yorker. And I didn't have cake or anything. I had water. I'm so, so pleased with myself. It was like my head switched on for the first time in a long time. Excited I actually made it for the live today. Oh, I'm so glad. Really am. I love this. Have a look. See if I can say anything that's too sweet art from the beginning. Oh, then... Getting old now, but don't love you any less. Oh, Sally, thank you very much. Zora. It's a hi, Lauren. Remember me? Zora. Zora. No, you're going to have to refresh my mind. I love the name, though. <laughs> right, come on, we're going to get on with this palette. We're going to be here for all night. So, right, we're going to go in with some... I think we'll go in with this spark. We're going to do. We're going to go straight in with this sparkly one here. It's on the Aura. So I think we'll get big eyeshadow brush. And then I've got my mirror here. Kind of hope you can see it. Look, I might do it in there. Oh, wow, it's very pigmented. Do it. I'll put me on. There we go. Really, really nice. I think what I want to do is I want to create a nice light base. I want to put a dark on the crease. I might even do like a dark eyeliner underneath. I can make an eyeliner out of the, the purple. I was going to do something bronzy, but I feel like I've done a load of bronze lately and it's, like I'm very aware I don't want it to be samey, samey. Plus, we need to do some lucky dips on these, by the way. Let's have a look. Hey, Lauren. Hi, Samra. Uh, where are you going tonight? Nowhere. I'm going to bed soon because it's work in the morning. But hopefully get to do a video before I go in and I'm going to walk in as well. Put my earphones in and stomp into work. I'm trying to think if there's anything else to tell you. I love being at Eldon Square yesterday. Really, really, really exciting. Austin, Texas events event at the mall where I had to take four city buses to just get to you. <gasps> oh, God, yes. Yes, I do remember you. Wow, hello, are you all right? I do. How are you keeping? Eee, eh, God, that was absolutely years ago. An ex Sparkage 24 hair and beauty makeup blogs. Hello, Lauren. Is that is that ex Sparkage? Is that Lisa? If it is, hiya. Because I remember you being one of the major originals with me back in the day. Uh, hello, Lauren. So happy to see you on my screen again. Oh, do you know what? I've been back on here for a while and some people don't even know I'm back. And I've just gotten a partner creator email actually off YouTube telling Ev about the explaining about the bell, you know the whole notifications thing. So I don't know, but if you can, if when you do subscribe, if you press the bell, or even if you have already subscribed, press the bell. I don't know how it works, but I know that I've got. Well, I'm sure you have to press all notifications. It's really confusing. That I'm, it's like a minefield. I'm trying my best to read it all and understand it. So happy you are back. I've been sub to you since the beginning. We're close in age. I'm a year older than you, so it's great to see you, YouTube, are close to my age and down to earth. Oh, thank you. That's sweet Lily Moon. You can read all the comments as well. I can just watch you all day long. It calms me down and soothes my anxiety. I'm going to have to talk slower then because I feel like I'm talking really fast tonight. <laughs> oh, bless. Hi, Lauren. Loving these live videos. I always remember Lisa Eldridge being interviewed a couple of years ago, and she said you were her favourite beauty YouTuber. Really? Oh, well, that's massive. I didn't know that, and she's beautiful. She's proper editorial beauty, isn't she? And she's very, she reminds me of the Pixie Wheel, Pixie Wheel Girls. There's, there's like a um, sophisticated beauty channel. Now we're going to go in with some... Um, Shall we? We're going to go in with some poet. 
the bottom one well it is all poet up there so you've got your matte your sequin your metallic and your glitter i've been so dying to play with it oh my word it is so pigmented look i've just basically put the brush in there and it's just gone everywhere so here we go i don't want to get that all over when clara did me makeup last night she done it really well and i don't know what she did i should have been looking but look at that it hasn't gone on right it's gone funny and i'm in a funny position should i do a different i'm gonna use a different brush that's it really get that on that's better here we go you want to see a lucky dip right well you're going to get one i just working out how to do it because i don't have the boxes anymore but i've got drawers with makeup in so i suppose i could eat draw, open each drawer it's all categorized and organized i need to do a video for you but i have been busy doing other things so i need to do a video and just do we'll do a lucky dip and i'll show you all the drawers so i've put it in there as much as i can organized and believe me i'm not a very organized person and just push that over and I'm going to bring another colour on top of that. It's dark in here. I need to really have this mirror somewhere here. Or a mirror right in front of us. The tatty palette. I'm missing all your comments because I'm doing makeup. Oh no. Hobbies are keeping well. Where are you all from? Let us know where you're all from and how old you are. Because that's really interesting. I need to see these shadows in person. When your next Nero's, Jamie Steele. Jamie. I think I know Jamie. Is it Helen's daughter? You'll have to tell us. So you can you can have a look at the different colours in person. The absolutely gorgeous Helen's daughter. Hiya, Jamie. Are you all right? Wow. Nice to see you here. Yeah, I will. I'll, bring, I'll do a look. I've been leaving the house with more, like, colourful, vibrant looks. So at one point I was a bit scared to be seen out with them because I wasn't used to it. But I'll get them on. We'll play about. California, I want oh, Bolton in night 29. So New York 52. Any plans on coming to the States anytime soon? Yes, I promise Martin I'm going to bring it to New York. Can't wait to go back to New York. I loved it there. And even though it's got some funny memories for us, some sad memories, I just, I'm definitely coming back. I can't wait. I'm missing all your comments because I'm doing this. Wow. Nice nose. Are you being funny? Probably. Eh, there's always one. Clara, I usually use a patting motion instead of a sweeping type motion. All ah, right, okay, so like that. That's what we need to do. We need to go high up and all. Look at that. So I've done that side all right, but that's a bit. I'll come back over with that one. Been dying to order it, but I wasn't sure if it was any good. It is very good. Super good. You get it ordered. Really, really nice. Right, so I'm going to pat this on. It's quite heavy. There we go. It is a gorgeous colour mine and the pigment is mad. It's really, really good pigment. This light, I need a better light. Ah, I'll just use this palette. Silly me. You'll be able to see it. Hang on. Let's get you out of there. That's it. Can you still see? You can see. Great. Oh, just out of interest, what will you do this time around if you get approached by companies again or get an offer to make money outside your job? Ooh, I don't know. It's really hard to say. You know, you have ideas of what you're going to do. But I've got to be honest, I really don't. I don't know. I know one thing. I want to be in control. I do want to make me make up brushes again. I will do anything I can to get them made again because I love, I love making them. And they sold out, they sold out. Like everyone, everyone who got them was so pleased. I've, I mean, I rarely, rarely got an, um, like a problem with them. So really over the moon about that. Because I know by using them what I'm looking for. And I know what you look for as well. 
so I'll probably definitely get them again. I'd hire the advice of, well, do you know what? There's been actually a few of yous who've said, if you need any advice, let me know. And I will get in touch with someone and get some proper advice this time. Because I won't be doing that again, that's for sure. If it's too, if it looks too good to be true, it usually is. Where did Ashley buy it? I'll have to find out. I think I'm, I'll check. I wish she was in. She must, I don't know where she is, but she knew I was coming on live and I think she's looking forward to it. So I don't know what's happened. If she is around, let little know where it's been bought. Because I'm not completely sure either. I love to, I'd, I'd love to make more makeup brushes, I would. So just, I will, I'll, everyone's been mentioning crowdfund, uh, crowdfund Kickstarter. I'm not really sure how to go about doing that. Um, but I'm definitely willing to give it a try. I need to think of. I need to make a plan though. So obviously, you'll you'll be in on it. You'll be kind of creating everything with us if I did go that route. But that there, I'm going to go in with that. So it's the metallic. Yeah. So we've already done sequin. I didn't do aura. We're going in with metallic. Put a bit of this on the top of. Yeah. And just bring that over. Really nice. I hope you can I you can still see what I'm doing. Good. Hiya from Sweden. Yes, we can see. Oh good, you can see the makeup. Let's have a look. I started watching you about 12 years ago and I learned so much from you. I now watch you with my fiance. Woo! We both love you and your personality. Make us smile. Oh bless. Probably Tati's website. Yes, probably. You probably could get it on our website. She's a stunner, isn't she? It would be nice to wake up. I tell you what, it's, it's a lovely colour. I think I'd like to blend that out a bit a bit more. Very, very pink. I've been busy this weekend, but I will send you my notes soon. Oh, yes, brilliant. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Yes, I know what you mean. That would be really, really, really helpful. I blend that top bit out a bit more. It's very, very pink. I like pink, especially if you've got green and blue eyes. Mind you, it can look... Actually, pink's a really good colour for everyone's eye colour. Brown, really dark brown, black, um, green, blue, hazel. It's a good, it's a good colour to go with most eye colours. Just want to make sure I don't. Got a lot more blending to do. It's mad when you're doing it. The mirror is awful in here and it's so dark. Fluffy brush that out. I think, shall I use? I'm going to use Aura. I'm going to go in with that. I said I wouldn't, but I'm going to use that to blend that top bit out. The pink is beautiful, but it's very pink. Will you do a lucky dip soon? Yes, I will. I promise. Has your partner proposed yet? Nobody will do one day, I hope. I hope. It's funny because when we went we went down to his parents. Um not not this weekend, but last weekend. Yeah, because we've been ill. I have lost track of time. And his his sister, the soon as I seen his sister, she grabbed me hand to have a look if there was a ring there. And his parents thought we'd come down to tell them that we were getting engaged, but we're not we're not yet. Just blending that top bit out. <clears throat> it is gorgeous, this palette. The pigments are amazing. I'm looking forward to doing, I think I'm going to go in next time with this one here and just go all out for a clubbing look. That's probably going to be my next live. A proper clubbing look. It's got to be, hasn't it? Oh, Sophie, bless you. 
I hope you're all right, because I know last time we spoke, you had a lot of sad time on your hand. You had a sad time on your hand. So I hope you're all right. You're keeping well. I try and keep up. Hi, Molly. Not yet, but I will be. I'm not losing this gorgeous lady. <laughs> oh, oh, Martin. You're making us nervous. He is, you know, he makes us blush. I'm a proper doof for him. But he knows it. Proper doofy. Right, so we've got our blending on. I think we should put something on. Should we go dark on the... I need, a, I need an eyeliner brush. But I haven't got one handy. There's that many. They've got one. We've got one. We've got one handy. Cool. So I'm going to need a bit of primer. And someone said, why do I scratch my face on me, one of my last videos? It's because makeup gets itchy. I've got makeup all over my face now. Itchy. Someone thought, well, why must scratch my face is not very professional. Weird thing to come out with, isn't it? I think. Right, what we got? Ah, look at you. <laughs> no. It's embarrassing. Stop it. <laughs> oh, bless you. You, That's horrible. I hope you're all right. Sophie, I'm going in. I'm going in with the poet, the dark one again. I'm going to put this as like an, an eyeliner. Just to darken the outer edge. Actually, yeah, we could do with a bit of black in there, couldn't we? Right, I'm going to go and do the same on that side. Just, just the outer edge part. And don't poke yourself in the eye like I've just done. This video camera is not very good. I think I'm going to go, you know what? Sod it. I said I wasn't going to go here, but I'm going to. I'm going to put a little bit of, I mean a little bit, this one here, sequin. Look at it. It's just asking to be used. I just know it. That's the weirdest thing commenting on you scratching your face. I know it is weird, isn't it? Eh, I, I, honestly, I don't know. It's so weird. People are strange, though. You know that, don't you? So she made us feel a bit away, so I'm going to scratch more now. <laughs> so you've seen what I'm going in with sequin. Bit of the door. Just out here. Just a little bit. To get a little bit out there. I'm going to blend that in. Right. Just what we got? If It is true, like if people have faces, <laughs> if you've got a face, you need to scratch it, especially when you've got makeup on. When you get makeup, I don't know, it, I don't know if you're the same, right? But I've got like peach fuzz, and it like you scratch. Squirt it down with foundation and then it lifts gently under the foundation as it relaxes so it's like really ah. And so yeah, I don't know what the hell she was getting at. It was the weirdest comment ever. There we go. I got woken up the other day by my, my fiance's iPad saying zoom zoom. He has the sims on there. I pooped a little. <laughs> oh god, that's so cool. But you and Martin very have any children together or is Jordan off? Ah, oh, Molly. It's a long story. It's a long story. I did want a little football team with Martin, but Martin doesn't want any more. <laughs> uh, if people have a face, they'll understand. Of course they will. Yeah. You should check out Kat Von D's makeup. She's really famous tattoo artist. Her stuff is really good. I think she's amazing. And there, I think, did I meet her? I'm sure I met her at one of the Sephora things. Um, she, was, she was also, she was, oh, she was launching her makeup line, I think the same time I, mined, I did mine. And I got, um, I got a signed autograph by her. But this is the, the time, um, because it was in, it was in LA, the, I'm, I'm, friend, I'm friends with the Mantegnas. So, Really lovely family. Joe Mantegna, he's, he's off Criminal Minds. And his daughter, Mia, she watched me videos back then. And she got him to contact us and say whenever I go out there, they'd love to meet up. So 
they came to the LA Sephora meeting and then afterwards we all went off and had lunch, like dinner, sorry. And then when they came to London in the past, I've met up with them there as well. But, but depending on where his work takes them, I don't get to see the family very often. But they're always as if I go to LA, I'm welcome to come over and stay. And they're such a lovely family. And the Mia, I love her. She's beautiful. So she used to watch my videos and she could... She could remember products I'd used, and I hadn't even. She, I, 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 she had a memory, amazing, like super intelligent. I don't know how she does it. She's fantastic. I find the same. What we're talking about? How long? How long have you and Martin been together? Two and a half years, I think. It feels like it's. I'm trying to think. One just absolutely fluff. Like I've known him forever. It's mad. Glad I'm not the only one I'm getting itchy now. Just thinking about it. It's like when someone says, like the other day at work, there was a spider on a little web and it paraglided towards us. And I felt like I could feel it all day. And the last I worked with Liv, she's lovely. And she was like, she, like I grabbed a hold and squealed at her. And she's like itching herself. She's like, I feel really itchy now. And we're pale. We're like hacking ourselves because we were thought about this thing on her. And it's like whenever someone mentions mitts in the hair as well, it makes you feel get itchy or like, Bed bugs, you think, there. I feel like it's smart. It's like a knock-on effect. Girl, don't use Dove soap on your face. <laughs> also, certain chewing gum makes me sneeze. Yes, yes. And if I look at the sun, it makes a sneeze. Jordan said apparently that's, it only, that's a genetic thing, so not everyone gets it. But me and Jordan, if we look at the sun, it'll make me sneeze. And then, because I'm getting older now, I've got to really cross my leg because I might wet myself. <laughs> it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. It's not good. Does anyone else get like that? And be honest. You've got to be honest. Or us girls won't know if it's normal or not. I think I need to bring this up a little bit more. I've been blending away, having fun. I haven't put it up here. I feel like I'm left out of the chat. Let's have a look. Now I'm feeling itchy. Are you all feeling itchy? <laughs> Oh, Sophie, bless you. <clears throat> He's at work tonight. My niece stopped me today to ask what bronzer and mascara I sneeze with the sun. We all a wee bit. Do you all? Good. Because it's awful. I don't know if it was, an, well, it is an age thing because I know I used to. Like, I've really got to hold on tight if there's a full blood out there. <laughs> oh, God. Mm. Nearly done. We're nearly done. Well, we're not. We're nearly done with the blending. I'm trying to make them match up. Ooh. Was it matching? I'll pull that up a bit like that. And then I may go back over with this. That's better. There's quite a lot of layers on here, but I'm liking it. I really do like this look. I think we'll do some liner now. Oh no, we're going to have some glitter. Can't forget the glitter. Set me spray. Either bench last night of Clara, because we're spraying this stuff here. So it's spraying on the brush. To dab into the glitter, I think it was, one of the palettes we were playing with. And it is just covered in, like, spots, and it was off this. It's going to go on the floor, isn't it? I'll put it on the desk. Hang on. There we go. Don't need a lot. We're going to dab it into the glitter. So we're going to go in with this one now. Top one. Pour it. The glitter is lush. Right in there. Oh, look at that. There's not much on the brush, but you don't need a lot. Oh, that is stunning. That is proper stunning. If you were going night clubbing. Ashley, I hope you are watching. And I hope I'm doing your palette proud. Now, where is it? We need to go in the other eye. You meet, if any of you are in South Shields and want to meet up, we'll, we'll meet up, let us know, and we'll go for coffee. I was watching a top 10 house infestations video last night. Why? That's gross. You don't do that before going to bed. And I had a dream about being a festival monster bed bugs. 
I'm a terrible one. We have we go to a hotel, I'm checking the bed, I'm looking for black dots and I'm and I just you know, and you can imagine things crawling and creeping. It's just ooh. It's nighttime where you're at Lauren. Yes, it is, it is half seven at night. So we've been on night nineteen thirty three here. Uh need a little tray maybe to squirt the spray new. Yes, definitely, I definitely do. I always apply it with my finger. I probably should have done really, but it's on there now. It's probably a bing bling. Hi, Lauren. I wake up sneezing. I mean, really? Really? Sneezing anyway? That must mean, have you got a feather pillow? Because that's probably you coming into allergens in the sleep. Because sometimes I wake up with a really bung, sinusy nose. And, and I think it's to do with the pillars. And sometimes it's because me, I need to change them up, the feather. And that, they're not so good. Or use your finger and a lot of pigment. Yes. Definitely. Hi, yeah, zoom, zoom. <laughs> it's better to pick up the shadow on the brush than spray the brush. Yeah, you're right. It is. I'll totally give you that one. <laughs> Hello, I just popped in to see you. Hello, Dawn. I'll take you up on that coffee when I move up north. We'll need a fellow makeup friend. Definitely, Annie. Honestly, I'm gathering some lovely friends through these type of things. And so that's in answer to the question earlier. Am I happy to be back on here? Oh, I love it. Honestly, the amount of people I'm meeting through it, it's just, this is what I love. It's You've got to have this in your life. It's just brilliant. And the amount of people that I've sent as an email saying that I've inspired them to play with their makeup again. Come on. That's just brilliant. That's what I wanted to do. You've got to play with makeup and have fun. And I, when I'm out now shopping, I've got so much exciting things to do. And what have you had for your tea? Any meal inspiration? Molly? Martin's down there making a bolognese and we're having it with with um oh broccoli because I don't want to eat the carbs. So usually we would have like um a, you know, like like mince, garlic, tomato based puree, and a bit of mustard, bit of Worcester sauce. We'll do a video on it one. We'll 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 let you into the kitchen and we'll cook for you. And you can come eat with us, like Clara did. But Clara loved her dinner, I hope. She had a massive plate of chicken thighs, salad, and there was just this lush sauce over it. It was really, really nice. And where you and when you come to NY, I'd love to meet up for coffee. Definitely. I'll bring my husband along so Martin can have some fun company too. Brilliant. Perfect. I will hold you to that. I really will. YouTube really has changed so much. The live function is so amazing. You know, it's brilliant, isn't it? Because it wasn't around when I did mine. Like when I first started, then would you ever consider doing a collab YouTube video with anyone else? Yes, in fact, there's a guy doing makeup tutorials called King Bob. He's on YouTube. Um, he's talking to us through Instagram. We're going to be doing a YouTube collab soon. But obviously, I, I'm working full time, and I'm, I'm I didn't want to like say yes. I'm going to do it tomorrow, and I need to prepare. So, but there is a collab coming up, and I hope you enjoy it. I think I'm doing a question and answer for his website. Um, but I'm very open to collaborations. I think they're brilliant. I think they're a great way for bringing a new audience in. Like there's a few YouTubers who don't have many views and I'm happy to help. Um, and I think people should be like that, actually. So, yeah, I'm very open to that. The only problem I've got is I might let them down because I can't edit. So my video is like long and, yeah, <laughs> long and funny. <clears throat> do you still have your palettes you created? I do. I do. I do have them because there was something that I did in my life and I'm very proud of proud of what I did. I put a lot of effort into them, but I'm so sad about what happened. So it's kind of like a bit of sweet. They're up in the attic all boxed away and I haven't touched them. I've even kept the designs off when like before the palettes got created, all the um the copies of what they were gonna look like, the different design templates and just oh there's just so much i've kept I've, I've kept it all um oh chloe thank you i love I lo i'm really glad you're loving the live videos uh what we got oh no i saw that you were streaming and stopped everything but that now means that i have been sitting sitting in a weird widespread kneeling position in my bed and can't get up <laughs> oh god i feel you i totally get you um you did enjoy your dinner. Great. I'm so glad you did. I know you ate it all, but I just wanted to make sure. 
Um, hi Lauren, I'm so, ca- so happy to catch you on a live. Oh, well, I'm really glad you could make it. I'm really glad you just could all make it. Honestly, you've no idea. Because I worry. Imagine if I came on here and only two people. Well, you actually know what? Even them two people, then I'd be able to talk to you all properly. So I don't mind. And bring it on. I love doing these. I think we should do a bit more on the eyes. So I'm going to put some eyeliner on now. Should we put some eyeliner on? Yeah, let's stick some on. It's a good old glossier. But I need a mirror, and that mirror's bad. So we're not. Oh, hang on. Use this one. I've got a little mirror here. Hmm. Is that that's not blended properly? Let's blend it out a bit more. What that? Love the sparkle. It's really hard to do this and look at the comments because I don't want to. How about doing a collab with a fellow sand dancer pet? Absolutely. I'm up for that. What you got in mind? I'm up for meetups as well if you want to come hang out. You can do my makeup. Right, let's go. I'm trying. You can see. Yeah, you can see. Get this on. Get this on. Really love this look at the minute. And because the look is so nice, I don't want to do really big wing. I want to let the, the look do the talking. So we'll leave it there. Might do a bit on the bottom to bring it in a bit. Uh, let's see. I'm a female builder and you always mention the tile shop you work for. Not the famous Tops Tiles, is it? No, it's not. It's not that one. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'm allowed to even say the way I work. It's You've got to be private about it. So I don't know. But I do work in a tile shop. Yeah. And I do love it, don't get us wrong, I do love it, but makeup's where my heart is. Oh, I wish I could do this full time, I so wish I could, but I just couldn't afford to do that. It would be so lovely if you put some sort of it in a box frame or something, definitely should be on show. Ooh, what? Oh, yes, yes, I know what you mean. Well, I was going, I've got, in my passage, I've got me, me, me by and look bus, because I, I was in a tour bus across the US, I've got a picture of that. It's on the it's in the passage. I love everything I did. I'm so proud and I'm so glad I got to do it. So even through the bad, I'm so glad I got to do that. And even though I never got paid to go to New York and do me work, I got to go to New York. So I'm going to look at the good side of it. If I ever get the chance to do anything like that again, nobody's going to take the piss. on and now I think I've gone a bit thick on this one so I'm going to have to go back over and even them out because you can't have one thick line and one thin line right in I don't usually go right in as you know I like to go a little bit further out but because I've gone quite thick I need to, yeah, look, you can see one's higher up. So we'll go back over and fix that. There we go. Let's see. Hang on, what's happening? She works at the Tile Giant. Martin, you shouldn't be telling people that. You, you're not allowed. Mm, stop it. There is, actually, it's been so weird. There's been a few people come in and like, oh my God, are you the last off the internet? And I've met some really nice people because of it. They're like, ee, God. See, do you still do your makeup videos and all that? And I feel get embarrassed. I'm like, <gasps> and then there's a couple of times when I've been out in Newcastle, I've been spotted. And people want that photo taken. And you know what? I get, get nervous, but I'd rather you said hello so I can say hi and say, like have a yap with you. Am I okay to send a business card with the package? Of course you can. Of course you can. We've all, yeah, of course you can. That's just, you don't even need to ask. I have just, I've watched you since you began on YouTube. I used to do Lucky Dips with you. Did you really? Get in. We're going to do them because I'm really due a Lucky Dip. Now, what do we do with this? Let's get some mascara on. So we're going to use Essence. It's a really cheap brand. This is one we're going to go in with. 
Now, Haley, I don't know the thought of everyone being able to see it freaks me out. Do you still have a copy of your book? Yeah, go on with dinner. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, God. Hiya, Isabel. Thank you, and I hope you're enjoying the live. I hope you're all enjoying the live. You should write a book about your experience. It would help people when they start out. I'd love to, but for legal reasons, I don't know what I can say. Um, I really don't know what I can say. But there's a lot of people. Um, there was a lot of people that were very nice. And there was a, there was a lot of, uh, yeah, it was a, it was a hard time. So I'm using Essence. This one is Lash Princess Full Slash Effect. Really, really good stuff. And if it was Ingrid or Ashley that got me that one because I've got two now, one of each. Who, hang on, bought the books for the girls. Yes. I've have still got a copy. I've still got a copy of, so I've got, the book got made in the UK and then it got taken, it, it, took, it took off in America and it was produced by Simon Schuster. This was Hodder and Stoughton in the UK. I remember the morning of, um, it was mad, you know, I woke up one morning, I don't know, I don't know if it was not long after the Leona Lewis look, but the BBC got involved. And I woke up one morning and there was, and I'm not kidding you, nine publishing houses, emails in my inbox asking to do a book with us. It was just mad. They all wanted to do a book with us. And I remember going to the mall to see what they were deciding to do, what their plans were. And I remember meeting Hodder and Stoughton in London. And I thought they were fantastic. So I think with Penguin Books, there's loads more. Um, but I met with Hodder and Stoughton in London. And I thought they're the ones that I want to work with. The ideas were fantastic for the book. I thought they actually knew me. I they knew what I was about. They'd watched me videos. They hadn't just chucked an email out there. They knew a little bit about what I did. And they were so enthusiastic about making this makeup book with us. So I had a ghostwriter and she was fantastic. She was from, from Australia. Yeah, she, I'm sure she was from Australia, Susan. And when she finished the book, she sent us a, um, a tub of Vegemite and a sweet pea plant. She was lovely. So we worked together for quite a while. I love that book. Um, I've still got it. I've kept, I've got so it's in the UK. The it's got a US version cover and a Portuguese version. So I've got three different versions. My mum's got a copy of it on a on a um, coffee table as well. I'm using Fenty Beauty Brow Map Brow MVP. So we'll go. We'll have to get the. Oh no! I've just snapped the end off. Something. What's happened? I don't know what that was. Get my brows on. I'm missing all the comments. Had to put for you a hold. Oh, bless. Just get this in. It's quite dark. Who cares? You only live once. Not everyone is going to like you, but that's okay. The other half will also. Yes, I still have my book and I use it when I do people's makeup. Oh, bless you. Why didn't you get paid to go to New York? That doesn't seem fair. It isn't fair. Um, I got £5,000 check to start the makeup line and then... I, I don't know. It just went wrong. It was, um, I had a, I took a lot of time out of YouTube on the promise. There was like lots of promises. Yes, you're going to get paid. You're going to get paid. But I didn't get paid. And then the the makeup company who made the makeup, made the, 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 made the SKUs, they'd, I think they'd produced 40,000 SKUs for the first run for Sephora. And then the bought, they got paid to do another load. I was, there was loads of people on the bus as well. They all were getting paid. They all had a salary. I didn't get paid. I had to take a lot of time out of my life to do that. I was excited. I didn't really know any better. And then it all started dawning on us that they wasn't going anywhere. They weren't going to be paying. And then I, I wanted to get out the contract, but it was too late. They wouldn't let us out. And that's when I said, right, well, I want my makeup, my name for my makeup brushes then so I can start making some money for myself. Finally got my name for my makeup brushes. By the time I got me a name back for the actual makeup line, there's no point. No one was interested by that time, and it was over five years. And it was annoying because I'd been contacted by makeup companies wanting to work with us, and I couldn't in the meantime. So, yeah, 
really sticks in me throat but what can you do come on you lot hit the like button yeah please do let's lighten the mood i bet you could tell your story if you didn't mention specific names or companies i probably could but i'd need again i'd need help i need rep representation i'd need i'd need a proper manager because they got a lot of money from stuff that I brought to the table and they never brought anything to the table for me. Um, I got a lot of press and, um, like, I got a lot of press because of the makeup line. I was in the US on talk shows, all all the, um, the TV shows. It was just mad. All the news channels and a lot of the press over there, magazines, newspapers, same here in the UK, but... It was, it's mad, it's mad, you know, because you learn when not after, after it happened now, when I see other people hitting the big time, I think that doesn't necessarily mean they're getting, they're getting looked after. It just means that they're getting pushed out there and it doesn't always make them, just because someone looks famous, it doesn't mean they're having a lot of, they're having money. It doesn't work like that at all. Yes, Vegemite, that's a, it is really in the quietest, but it's a lush. Um... Or order something special for you also. You have done more for me than you realise. When I was badly bullied, I would come home, shut my door and watch you. You were my escape from shit going on. Bless you, Sophie. I was bullied too, right the way through. There was just no let up. From infants right the way through to seniors, my upbringing and life growing up was just horrible. Absolutely horrible. And it does stay with you forever. There's nothing you can do about it. You just learn to live with it and you, and you learn to... You just need to learn to, I don't know, accept yourself. And I think when you've been bullied so hard and all, you you start trying to please people, and you you're gonna go you you're going in the wrong direction. Please yourself, and don't care what anyone else thinks. You cannot please people. You've got to look after yourself. But being bullied, there should be something more done about it. I hate it. There wasn't for me. My teachers, they were crap. They knew what was going on and they turned a blind eye. It was awful, and I got bullied every single day. There was no let up. I was either getting kicked in the head when I left school, or I was getting stuff chucked off as bullied, called horrible names, and I just felt like a worthless piece of shit. I've got to be honest, and I'm sorry for swearing there. There's any youngins in the group, but I did. It was horrible. It is. <clears throat> Bless you, Vicky. It is just absolutely horrible. Nobody should have to go through it, but what? Can, there's, they, just, they don't do anything about it. And the note goes on and they just don't do anything about it. I will. It was horribly bullied through my school years. Yeah, that's just awful. It really is. There's no need for it at all. Can you do a meet and greet in London? It would be amazing to meet you. Sally, if I had the finances to do it, I would. London is, let's see, if I got, we could drive down there if we took some time off work. So we could definitely drive down there, but it's quite a way. It's about six and a half hour journey for us. Um, but we could do it I, I would look into it if I knew enough people were going to meet up and it would be worthwhile I would definitely try and do that and like put it into like a little break or something um, and you know everything happens for a reason it probably wasn't the right time for you maybe when all the crap happened maybe I do think things that work for a reason I believe in fate um, and I, I believe it's I don't know I know I was meant to meet Martin, I know that much. There's just something about it. I know I was meant to meet him. So I think you go through some bad things in your life and then you come up the other end and there's just something or someone there waiting for you. I also find that there's people come into your life just when you need them. And it's really strange. It's happened quite a lot for me that actually just some certain people have come into my life and they've given really good advice when I've needed it or I've come into theirs and they've been like, wow, I really needed to hear that and I think this, the law of attraction or whatever it is, I don't know, I can't explain it, but it's weird. My best friend was bullied for years and she's still affected by it now. Yeah, it is. It's just so awful. It sticks with you. It really does. And I don't really, I don't talk to anyone from school. I don't go to the reunions. Why would I? Why would I want to go and stand with them all? They made us feel like crap for growing up. Nobody, even the ones that didn't bully us or kick my head in, they didn't like us. And it was all because I didn't fit in. I wasn't like them. I didn't have the money growing up. I didn't have the fancy gear. I wasn't, um, you know, yeah, I didn't fit in. And because I didn't fit in, I was a little bit weird, I've got to be honest. Like, I used to be a little bit socially socially awkward. Um, when I was hanging around with people, 
I'd be wondering what was what they were thinking. I was overthinking stuff. I was paranoid. I was sensitive. It was because I was always getting picked on and kicked in that I couldn't relax. And I used to look at other people getting on so well and having friends. And I used to be so jealous thinking, I don't understand. I couldn't understand it as a kid. I know now. But, oh, I don't know. There's nothing you can do about it. And I just, my heart goes out at anyone that's getting bullied. It's awful. A GoFundMe account. Oh, bless you. <laughs> you dear me. I, yeah, I totally believe in fate. Yeah. I would love to see Shane Dawson and Jeffrey Star do a documentary and club with you. That would be amazing. It would, wouldn't it? But I think I'm too little. I'm like small fish to them. I think you've got to be like, um, I think you've got to, I don't know, you've got to be a bit more popular to be on the radar, if you like. Do you know what I mean? I think you have to be on, You have to be popular to be on anyone's radar. That's what I love about you. I am small fish. I'm not the top. I'm right on the bottom. And you still come and talk to me. You are really, you touch my heart. You really do. If you want to start up your products again, you have loads of people who could advise you about management, like picks you something about the future. I do. I'm very lucky. But bless. Yes, it is. Kindness is free. Sprinkle that shit everywhere. It's so true, you know. I never go to my high school reunions because they were also horrible to me. So sad, isn't it? When you say that someone I was close to in school always joke he'll be the one I would marry. He randomly popped up on Facebook and we were going to meet once he's on leave. Oh, well, I really, really, really hope, hope that something comes of that for you. I am, I know I was you, I know I was the original. No one can take that away from me. Believe me, I feel so special. But um, it's, I'm very, very on the bottom. A lot of people don't even know I exist on here. This is like a tiny little side shoot of the world of youtube but yous are here yous love watching me videos and i know that from the comments i'm making a difference for some of yous and honestly just dare yeah, really lovely oh i was so excited when i saw you posted a new video i think many of us of us missed you i missed you all as well and i'm so sorry i took so long out but i had to i couldn't i couldn't deal with it I mean, I, I love being back on here. It's really lovely. Oh. Thank you, Jessica. And Sarah. And little Miss Leah. And Lillian. And Jenny. And Denise. And all of yous. Bless. Shall we get some lipstick on? Ah, we'll do some blush. I'm loving this at the moment. That's damp. It's had my foundation on. This is Lady Blush. Mac don't do any cream cream brushes anymore. Blush cream. Where where am I gonna get some really good quality blush creams from? Let us know. I need some. I've got two from Mac. I love them. This is more of a um it's pink, but it's more of a what I want I wanna say it's got terracotta chucked in there. Does that sound daft? It's like a peachy pink. Really love it. And the other one's pinky pink. This one is going to work. So we're going to go in there with the sponge. Look at that. A bit more. Oh, look at that. Ready? Just attack your cheek with it. Really nice. And at only 23 and I've watched you from the beginning and you are still my favourite. Annie, thank you very much. I'm so, so grateful to hear that. Put a bit of that up. A bit more. Look how it just livens your cheeks up. I love the wet look. I don't like dried matte looks. I don't. They don't work well on me anymore because I've got wrinkles. So if you've got wrinkles, it's not good. I probably put a bit much on there, but I'm just doing it off my webcam. There we go. Nars has a nice cream blush stick. Oh yes, I've got the I've got orgasm and Luxa. I think it's Luxa. Kiko, yes, Kiko, Kiko have some. RMS. Oh, lovely. When I let's have a look. Makeup Forever has a cream blush. Make up forever. I don't even know where that is in the UK, I've got to be honest. Someone's downstairs moving around at Martin's. You have accomplished lots in your life and I know your loved ones are very proud of you. You are so you are so you are much needed in this YouTube community because you are very unique and special talents. Elizabeth, thank you so much. Really. I do appreciate all your comments. Sometimes you've had me sat here in tears with snots. 
because I've been just overwhelmed by all your comments. Seriously. What are the top makeup brands in the UK that you wouldn't normally find in America? Well, hang on. What are the top makeup brands in the UK that you won't normally find in America? I've got to be honest, I'm not sure because I'm so out of the loop. I don't know what exists here, whatever. I do I do know the Colourpop. I'd love to get my hand on Colourpop. And I don't think you can get it in the UK. But I don't know what we've got that the, Amer that the US haven't. I really don't know. I don't know. I'm learning so much, my nan. I'm loving it, but I'm still, like, still behind. You are helping me out here. I really have with everyone, like, all the emails. I stay in touch with as many people as I can. I've got loads of views on Facebook now. Lillian's one of them. And Emma, Emma Crooks, she was one of them before as well. And I'm so sad that Ashley's not in the group tonight. What are the top... Yeah, what... Love a cream blush. I have two of your palette bless you well i really hope you love it because i did i made it with love we don't mean to make you cry we just love you oh sophie bless you you're so cute the reason why your subs love you so much is because you are genuine and it shines through which is really rare on youtube thank you pooch thank you i really really appreciate that i do you can order color pop online oh right really i'm gonna have to look into that you number seven sleek is that the cream color blush because i've really got to try some out i've only got the two cheek ones here lillian you sent one i'm sure i was like a bright pink in a tub with a white lid i've got that somewhere so i've got three cream blushes but I'm, i would love a terracotta Cotta one, I think terracotta or like a, um, a plummy color. I want to see them. I went to my account with Clara yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday, and I couldn't find anything. It's all gone. They didn't have any shade sticks. I was like, Meh. boring. But they did have a lush blue color, and it is in the palette. It's in a vibrant, luminous palette, and it was like a color I wanted. But I thought I'm not paying all that for one eyeshadow. I'm just not doing that. So. We got you, girl. Oh, Roxy, thank you. I'd love to try Colourpop too. Yes, I've seen some amazing palettes on there. There was a minty one, that Raw Kirsty Beauty. Is it Raw Beauty Kirsty or Raw Christy? Raw Christy Beauty, Raw Beauty Kirst Christy. And you'll know, she, try she tried Colourpop. Yeah, the Zoella did a Colourpop. I've got it. Pixie Boo sent us it, and it's gorgeous. It's got a bright blue in, and I haven't had a chance to use it. Oh, you dirty get. There's always one, isn't there? You're not on the bottom. You're the best. I love you. Just chat with us. Oh, thank you. Woo, Maybelline cream blush. Yes, Maybelline. I need to go back to Boots or Super Drug and have a look. Um, You do make up for normal people who could not also not want to wear the outrageous looks for the influencers do now i can't read very well i'm shocking yes yes i do know what you mean i know a lot of people have outrageous looks but i think i'm i'm not used to wearing like a lot of makeup but i'm getting there i'm wearing a little bit more but i know not everyone wants to do it i know it's disgusting isn't it jeez there's always one there's always one there was one in the last one what was it he said i'm assuming it was a man it might not have been could have been a woman could have been something else i don't know but there was something what's with the cheese the cheese and the halloween and an egg oh weirdos you have achieved a great accomplishment in your beautiful son yes i have i'm so proud of him the best thing i've ever done absolutely face stockholm has cream blushes i haven't tried them yet oh i'd love to give them a go actually that would be really good <gasps> we've been on here for more than an hour and i haven't even put my lipstick on that's shocking that is right what lipstick was i going to use i was going to do something what was i going to do i was going to right hang on i've got an idea Hold on. yeah right we're doing this let's get some lipstick on and get this finished off i'm gonna have to go is this a woman's only chat no it's everyone everyone's involved as long as you're not rude and dirty because there might be some young people in here Right, we're going to go in with Charlotte Tilbury, Viva La Vegara. Beautiful, I love this, my favourite lipstick. My name is not McDonald's, it's actually Daniel. Good for you. 
Hmm. Greetings from Berlin, Germany. Are you still juicing, Lauren? No, because Jordan put me juice out on top of the fridge and I don't I don't even see it, so it's out of sight, out of mind. But since I've lost the five pounds this week and I'm wanting to be healthy again, I will be getting the juicer out and be doing me celery, me ginger, celery, um beetroot, and all that good stuff. Now on top of that, so yes, I will be juicing again. I cannot wait. My last one blew up on us and it had beetroot in and it went all up the bench and I was just on my way out the door to go to work and I could have cried. Like, I'm not kidding. It stunk. I burned the motor out. I put too much um, vegetables in it. <laughs> so it didn't work very well. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It is. What part of the UK are you in? I live in South Shields and it's right next to the coast. It's in the northeast. Um... Most people just know us as a Geordie, but we're actually classed as a sand dancer. I would like to include something for Martin and Jordan. What would they like? Sophie, you don't need to do that. Bless you. You really don't. Yeah, everyone's sending them presents and they don't, know how to, they, don't, they don't know how to accept them because everyone's being so nice. Tell Jordan, hello, such a nice young man. He is, isn't he, Mary? I'm very proud of him. In other words, it's always bad weather. I remember that happening, Lauren. Yes. What is behind you? Telly? TV? I'm wearing one of my dresses today. I bought it yesterday and it was £25. <gasps> yes, that's what I forgot to tell you. Martin, because he'd been so good at work, he was given a £50 Debenhams voucher. And bless him, he come home. And he, when soon as I, he picks us up from work in the car every night... When he waits out the back for us. And as soon as I got in the car, he had a good smile on his face and he said, I've got a present for you. And he handed us this piece of paper and it was a gift voucher for £50 for Debenhams. It was because he'd been really good as gold at work and they'd all been given one for all the hard work. So bless him, he gave it to me. And so I spent it in front. I spent it on in Debenhams and I got two little dresses. Actually, that's one behind us on the thing. And then I love this one. It's really cute. It's got like a cow neck. I think it's a cow neck. I love it. But it's it, this is the one I like to wear with black tights. Well, that one isn't a tight dress. So that one with bare legs and sandals. And this is boots and like a like a, a rustic eye colour bronze look, I think. I had like um when I was when for lunch earlier, I just put a bit of liner on and a bit of like um like a tea colour lipstick would work really well with it. So now, I've done that, and I probably want to, hmm, I might leave it like that, actually, or I might leave it a bit of a colour. Do we give it a bit of colour? I keep going in there, and I don't know why. Got a bit of foundation on here. So it's not as dark. Yeah, maybe. Need to, I've been sticking them in the wash. Shouldn't do that. Uh, so disgusting. No, I'm not showing me boobs. That colour is very flattering. It is, isn't it? It's lovely. I love it. I'm in Finching Fields, so much further south than you, but all countryside. Love the countryside. I love the idea of living off the grid as well, but then if you need something, you're stuck, so you have to be really self sufficient. Um, that colour, uh, let's have a look. Love the dress. Thank you very much. I love it as well. It Cosmetics has a gorgeous cream highlight too. Ooh, it is really nice and comfy as well. Some short sleeves also. Like, it's a good job I lift tiles and I haven't got, like, well, I've got a bit of bat, bat wing, but not, like, loads. It's a bit, a bit of wobble, but I lift a lot at work, so I've got quite big arms. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Oh, God, get in. <laughs> Perhaps you could get Martin to be a moderator. I think I think he's already been a moderator. He's being brilliant. 
That is so funny. Bless. That is so brilliant. E D M me. I can hear him laughing through the floor. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go, guys, because it's been over an hour. I mean, I can stay longer, but I'd, I've got nothing else to do. do what do you want to do? Do you want to talk about something? There's no. Yeah, good. Thank you. Dirty boo. I bought some ColourPop offline and they delivered to me in London. Oh, right. Well, I'm going to have to get online and have a look. Um, and I've, I'm, one of, we'll, 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 we'll get some ColourPop in, cause I promise, because I'm dying to try it. Um, yeah, true. We have the village local, which is really nice. All the locals know your name. That is lovely about living in a small town or like village. That bit is cute. Also, not much chance of the coronavirus. E God, I know the coronavirus is crazy. I'm I'm starting to get a bit. Everyone's been panic buying. There's nothing left in the shops. Like, um, oh, can you show your setup? Yeah, how do I do that? Actually, I think I can. Yeah. Oh, bye, sweet. I hope you're all right. I'll see you later. Thanks for coming. I love to see colour pops in person. I love being able to see the colours. I know what you mean. It's awful when you buy a flying and you kind of see it. Do you want to see what I've got in front of us? I'll show you. Who your icon? Mine, Madonna and John Taylor, first love. Um, my icon. Um, jeez. I know they're going mad with it, aren't they? You've made some videos before work lately. Have your co-worker started noticing that you're wearing more makeup? Yes, they have. Um, uh, Liv at work, she, she knows a little bit about what I do and she's been wear she wears makeup as well. Um, but not many people mention it when I'm when I'm at work. But a few a few of like like um the customers will go, Oh yeah, makeup's lovely, and then we've got some guys that um make us feel a bit weird for wearing it. Like I had makeup, I had lipstick on the other day and I got a funny comment, so I felt like taking it off. And then, yeah. But I think I'm just not used to it. I feel very sensitive as well. If someone says something, it makes us feel like I need to stop. But um, we'll hope to see you again. Yes. Aha! No, I love you all different accents. I'm going to go and eat dinner now. Is Martin having any more tattoos? I have six. Martin will be having more tattoos. He loves them. He's just had, well, he's just had one on his arm here and he had a green eye put in for me and then he's put LL there and he said that when he gets married to us, he's going to have LLB and he's going to have a little B added. So it's really very, quite sweet. I am very much in love. Why do people feel the need to comment on that? Probably jealous. What do you mean? I don't. What we're, what we're talking about, yeah? Yes, I know. It doesn't. It's horrible, isn't it? And it all and it makes us feel like the the thing I'm doing it for them, which I'm not, because I'm loving me videos, you know. And I kind of I've got time to take it all off, and I think, no, sod it. I've put that on. I've got a face, and I'm going to wear it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Sod them. Oh, there's Ashley. Ashley, I've got to go. Where have you been? Oh, thoroughly loved your live long. By the way, Makeup Academy have some cream blush and lavel. Very cheap on eBay. Enjoy your dinner. See you later. Bye bye, Ingrid. Thank you for popping in. E. Lipstick at work. Yes. Terrible, isn't it? Do you have any expectations on your YouTube channel, Makeup Career, moving forward at all? I want it to, and I want to be. I'm enjoying what I'm doing. There's no pressure. I love that you are coming and watching me videos and commenting. Um, you fell asleep. What are you like? What are you like? E. So, yeah, I'm, I'm loving, loving being back on here. I hope, I just, you know what? I'm excited. I'm excited about what the future holds. And whatever I want to do, I want you to all be involved. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever happens, I want you to be involved. And maybe one day I won't have to go and work back at the tile shop. But at the minute, I love doing what I do. I don't want to. I don't want to leave. But like, if things change, this is where my heart is. Making people feel special and doing beauty. I love this kind of stuff. Having a tattoo done with your love name is very romantic, and I personally love it. Yes, 
you can name stars after the, your love too. Yeah? If you do get some colour pop, you will save my day by doing tutorials. I'll do my best, I promise. Hi, Lauren from California. Hello. I'll message when the package is po in the post. Thank you, Sophie. Thank you very much. So happy you're back. Love watching you. Oh, thanks, Nita. Bye from North Carolina. Bye-bye, NC Beauty. Oh. Pooch Mount. Pay the people at work. No mind, but I will. I'm going to... Nah, whatever. It's great seeing you on a live. Thank you, Tracy. You and your family deserve all the best. Oh, thank you very much. Sophie, I'm a guy and I'm nothing like that. Not, yeah, I was going to say men like to sexualise everything. Not all of them. Martin's not like that at all. And there's some lovely people that come into work and they're not like that at all. And you've got the others that are just, are just like that. We're all different. Um, that's refreshing. It is. How was Jordan? He's at work, bless him. But he had lunch with us for a day and he loved it. You will be out of that tile shop, Lauren. It's going to happen. Oh, Sel, bless you. I do hope so. But, but yeah. But in the meantime, I'm loving what I do. So I'm really not bothered. I love being on here. I love being at work. I'm happy. I wish I could do less hours at work and more here. But the position I've got, I've got to be full time. So, yeah. Do we have any tips on quitting smoking? Uh, yes, I do. Just do it. Read Alan Carr's book. Now, I didn't do that, but a lot of people swear by Alan Carr's quit smoking. I quit smoking purely, I don't know how I did it, but I just, I went on to the vape and I, um, I thought, right, I'm going to give this a go. And I ran with it. And every time I got a real strong craving, I'd suck even harder on my vape. Um, I made myself ill with the vape. My heart was going funny. And I ended up in hospital and I panicked and thought it was the vape. And I come off everything. I was that frightened. Little did I know it was just withdrawal, but I'm glad I didn't know that at the time or I'd have had another tab. And now I'm I'm out the, I'm out of it. I don't even care. I can smell it in the street and I'm like, mm. and I used to be so jealous because it was like everything you do since I was really young. I smoked for like 15, 16 years. But honestly, I'm so glad I give up. And when you do give up, you smell it and you think, poo, I smelled like that. And, and I feel bad for people who smoke because they will smell strong. And it's not a nice smell when it's on your clothes. So, yeah. Um, but it is so hard to give up. It's so really, really hard. Do you know, it contains small doses of antidepressants. This is what I've read. And I think that's why Champix and Zyban work so well. So if you are going to give up, go and get help from the doctor. Don't just try it yourself. And like, just, you know, make sure you've got a nice backup because it is a really big thing to kick. It's not a serious, serious business. Thank you very much, Nita. I think of you every morning when I see your name on my makeup brushes. Oh, Judith, thank you. Are you talking about perv squad? Yes, I am, Ashley. There's always a pervert. <laughs> Sal, as long as you're happy, that's the main thing. It is, and I am. I am very happy. I'm going to have, let's see, I'm going to read a few more and then I'm going to go because it's, this is long. How long are they meant to be? Does it matter? This is an hour and 17. Oh. My husband used to smoke and he could buy smoke and basil. Basil? Weird, I've never heard of that before, but whatever well, does it for you. I stopped after having bro horrible bronchitis. Yeah. I should be making lunch, but I'm glued to your life. Oh, that is lovely. Thank you. I'm really glad you feel like that, you know. I am super, super grateful. Good for you for quitting smoking. It's one of the hardest things to do. Yes, it is. But I'm going to say this and all. It, I found it hard, harder to quit the chocolate. Mad. Like, if this is the thing. Smoking, you don't have to smoke to survive, but you've got to eat to survive. So getting your diet in checks actually kind of harder than smoking, than packing and smoking. This is what I've found. I don't know. But I did put a bit of weight on when I stopped smoking. And I remember I keep finding myself in the pharmacy aisles looking at stuff and just feel like I needed something. But I couldn't work out why I was there and why I was wanting something. And it was my body was craving for something and it did that for a couple of years. And I used to go in the shops and forget what I was there for because it makes your mind like proper boggled. And it's like it's just a stimulant, isn't it? And you don't, um, that was when I couldn't stop. That's when I had to stop drinking proper caffeine as well because when you smoke, it stimulates your body faster. You metabolize things quicker. So obviously all the coffee I was drinking after that, it was just banking up in my liver and I was ill. Yeah, and that's one of the things to tell you. Go easy with your caffeine consumption after you pack in. 
because it'll hit you like a brick. Uh, what we got? I'm so happy you are back on YouTube. You were, oh, it's gone. Hang on, I can scroll. Where's my mouse? Where's my mouse? I can scroll. Do you shop at Mac anymore? Yes, we were there yesterday, but I didn't buy anything. But I do buy me concealer, my little concealer. I love it. Thanks for showing. Thanks for knowing what I meant. I did. Thank you very much. Your Martin seems so perfect for you. He is. Quit chocolate. Couldn't do it. It's really hard. I haven't had any all this week, mind. I've been good as gold, Ashley. I've lost five pounds. You'll be dead proud of us. I'm so chuffed. I can't quit chocolate. I never smoke and I never and only ever have alcohol once or twice a year. Well, that is very, very good. You are sticking your middle finger up in the thumbnail. Ah, I know, I can't change it. Terrible. I'm going to have to be very careful because when I'm busy starting it, I'm like, uh, now I want chocolate. Sorry. I don't. I don't want any more. And Jordan said something quite clever. Jordan's my voice of reason sometimes. When I'm like, I remember thinking, God, I really want some chocolate. I'm so jealous of them people eating chocolate. I'm so jealous. And he went, don't be jealous. Be really grateful that you're not having any. And then, because it's not good for you. But a little bit of chocolate is. It makes you really happy. Oh, well, I think it's more about boredom and kind of emotion based when it comes to cravings or needs. It is. You're not kidding. I know a lot of would just, if you, you watch some people eating, they're not eating, they're not mindful. Um, they're just putting it in, they're filling a the hole, they're filling a the void. Done it myself when I've been down, right, I'm having some chocolate, I'm having a drink, I've had a bad day, I've had a good day, I've had a bad day, I've had a good day. It's chocolate. Honestly, sweet, I really want some now. It's terrible, isn't it? Dark chocolate is good for you, but it's just boring. Like, ugh, no wonder you only want a one piece or two pieces, so boring. Give us some dairy milk or something and I can have the whole bar gone in a second. Jordan will make a great husband one day. Yes, he will. He will. He's got really good morals. So proud of him. So proud how he turned out. I want you to get busy and do makeup for brides. You can make a fortune. It's wedding season. I can't because I'm at work. I'd love to. Tell us about it. I've thought it all through. I want to do all sorts. I've got plans, but I'm at work. It's shocking <laughs> same i mix my coffee with hot chocolate mix yeah very very nice hello gosh i'm a tad late are there any scottish sweets you would like to try i'm wanting to send a gift to you no sweets no sweets anything from scotland that doesn't contain calories and i'll have it <laughs> i'm on a i'm on a new kick and i can't be naughty i like i will literally not be naughty i'm doing it this time i'm absolutely doing it do you still do yes i do I'm going to, no, I haven't for a while, but I'm going to. I'm going to get it out and go. Hi, Lauren, look, I can just see your, oh, the car, we're running, where are we going? We're running away with the stick here. Yeah, hang on. Oh, I found a way to do it. <gasps> Hi, Lauren, I think, where are we? I've lost it. I think I've lost it. Yes, chocolate is my drug. I've lost it. Hi, Lauren, can I just say you're amazing? I like, and I like to see you wake me up and to the wake-up world, but love to learn more. You're inspirational, if okay, me saying. Much respect. Kaz, very much. Thank you very much. Chocolate and PMT, yes, definitely. And it's just, just passed, and I've been good as gold right through it. So if I can do that, I can do anything. Now, I've been walking into work for, well, 35 minutes it takes us because I walk really fast. When I get there, I'm really sweaty, so I have to wear a T-shirt and take it off. Um, you gave up meat for 10 years. Wow. Wow. Good for you. I, I'd find it hard because I do love me meat. Um, well, sub to you, Lauren. You do beauty, but you're already beautiful and your guy's one lucky man. Oh, Amiga. Thank you. That is lovely. Absolutely lovely. I know work gets in the way, doesn't it? Do they not know that I'd rather be here doing makeup videos? <laughs> That's so terrible. But it's true, I can't lie. I'd, I'd far rather be doing makeup videos and stuff. And like, I want to I do makeup on you. Let's send haggis. Yes, yes, haggis, tatties and neeps. We'll have some of that. Definitely. Absolutely. What was your parenting style philosophy while we in Jordan? It's a long story. I did it, I did, I was a single parent, it was very hard, um, and so I still believe I didn't do very well, 
and I've got a lot of guilt because I was only young and I worked as well out as like as soon as I could. Um, I went and got part-time jobs and full-time jobs. My mum used to take them to school. But I, I think we all I think we all felt like we could have done it better. Um, but I've just been so lucky he's turned out with such good manners and morals. And I know that he loves us to bits. So I think when you when you feel it being a parent, you feel that everything. And I and I feel really special. I feel really special that he looks up to us and loves us to bits. But of course, I feel like I wish I, I wish I could have done things differently. And but because I was so young, I didn't know what I was doing. I was only 16, 16, 17. and then even in your early twenties, you just, you know, you're not. But I did, um, I did try my best. I did, and I still do. And I don't think he's going to leave the house. He's twenty one now, and he's not going anywhere. Hi, Lauren. Glad to see you back. Well done on losing five pounds. Thank you very much, Miffy. Miffy was an this Miffy was a um a name I got given as a, a pet name years ago. Miffy. So funny. Lol, calorie free in Scotland. <laughs> we have a sweet called tablet and it's condensed milk sugar. Oh don't. That would be lush. Mm. <clears throat> it's not terrible at all, it's where your heart is. It is, it's true. I love makeup. Oh, by the way, Ashley, you're going to do my makeup look and you're going to come here and do it. I'm going to come and get you and you're going to come to my house and I'm going to make you dinner if you want. Keep us updated on your weight loss. I will. Don't worry. I hope. So obviously it's not going to fly off us again next week. That was just fluid. But it's best to be off, isn't it? Well, makeup couldn't really improve me, honestly. I mean, I'm a deep think atop. I see beauty on the inside rather than the outside. But I know makeup improves people's moods. It does mind. It makes you feel amazing when you're feeling down. Lauren, someone mentioned about perv in life. You can block who it is. He's gone now anyway. It's all done. All done. Where is it? Let's have a look. Where are we? Excellent. I want to see what this is. I'm trying to find it. I actually, what we got? Would you like a daughter in law? What? Only joking. Sophie. You can I tell you what, you can be my surrogate sis. How about that? Actually I'm probably old enough to be a mum. So surrogate mum, sis, whatever. Lauren, you were the reason I bought the eBay 180 eyeshadow palette. Oh my god. That was like of years ago. And you know and I, and I used to feel funny after I used that I used to feel like it had gone through to my eyelids. They were really funny palettes, but I loved them. They, they were the first palette for colour. For colour, They really were. They were ahead of their time. Right, tea's ready. I've got to go. Do people recognise you when you're out? Yes, they do. And they come and say hello. But some people get shy and they don't. And then they tell us after that they saw us. So that's not very good. You've got to say hello. Right. I'm going to go. I will be back, though. I will do another I will do another live. If you'd like to see another live, let us know. I'm loving doing these. I feel like I'm interacting with you. If anyone's got any ideas on how we can do it where we can see each other, I don't know. Even if it's just like a, a couple of um, closed room ones, that would be brilliant. I would edit videos for you for a few dairy milk bars. All right, then. It's a deal, Brianna. <laughs> That's a deal. I'll get you some dairy milk and you can edit these videos. Right, I'm off. I've got to go. I really, really love tonight. Thank you so much for making it a massive hit. You don't realise... Well, I hope you do. I hope you can see how happy you make us feel. Um, I ho and I'm, I'm at work tomorrow, but before going to work, I'm going to try and do another makeup look, and I'm going to play with my massive Morphe palette. I've got to play with this. Watch, it's so lovely. The stuff stuck to it, look. I'm playing with that tomorrow. And I think tomorrow when I go to work, I'm going to wear something along those lines. I don't care how I look. I've got a face, and I'm going to wear it. Right, I shall see you all in a bit. Thanks so much for watching. Zoom, zoom.